In this video, what I want to take a look at is how to uh, list all the files and directories or all other types of uh, entities in a directory in uh, C, specifically on Linux, because on Windows it's much more difficult to do so. To start off, we're going to use this dir uh, struct, right? We're going to have a pointer to this dir struct, and this, this struct is going is to actually uh, be our directory that we're going to open and do whatever we want with it. And here we're going to have it called, let's say, uh, dir, and this is going to be equal to open dir of whatever we give it. So here we can give an absolute path, a relative path to our executable or other uh, stuff here. Um, what I'm going to do here is just going to give it the dot uh, string, just a string with a dot. That means that uh, I want to see all the uh, all the directories and files in the current directory. That's what this dot means. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to check if dir actually exists. So if dir is null, then simply return, let's say an error, let's say return one. So that's there's that. And before we do anything, we should actually close it. So I'm going to say close dir of, well, our dir pointer here. And here in between, we're going to actually do the processing. And what we're going to use here is another struct, a struct called dir end. And I'm going to give it uh, the, the variable's name is going to be something like entity, simply because it's not a file, it's not a folder, it could be both. So I'm going to call it simply more generic entity. Um, and we're going to use this entity, actually a pointer to this uh, data type to iterate over all the elements in this in this directory that we have opened here. So to start reading a file in this uh, directory that we have opened, we simply say entity equals uh, read dir of our dir pointer that we have opened right here. And this is going to give us either null or something, some entity that we can then dereference. So what I'm going to say here, instead of an if, I'm going to say here a while because I want to iterate over all of them. So if I say, if I have a while loop that checks if entity is, if entity is not null, then I want us to be printing uh, something on the terminal that uh, represents maybe the name of that uh, entity, of that file folder or whatever it is. So what we can do here to access the actual name of the file, let's say it is, that we have actually read here, is just say entity arrow and there are all sorts of um, all sorts of members that we can take a look at but the most important one is probably the name so d name is what we're going to use here and this is just a string so we can simply print it out on the screen say percent s backslash n and then there we go and after we've uh, printed on the screen a entity we should read the next one so i'm going to call read dear again if I try to launch this, we should see a result on the screen. And here we go. Here we have a list of all the files in the current running directory. As you can see, they are not in any way, shape or form sorted. And if we take a look at my editor here on the right, we have all the files that we have, we see in here. And the main takeaway from this is, well, first things first, we do get files like dot and dot dot, which is uh, the current directory and the uh, previous directory up a level. Of course, we get all the files, but we also get directories such as .vs code. So .vs code is a directory. And as you might notice, we don't actually get the contents of that directory. So we don't get any of those launch settings or tasks.json that we do, do in fact have inside our, uh, our current directory. So this is what this uh, dear end header can do. Now, one thing that we can print aside from just the name is the type. So we can, based on, there's an, uh, an ID representing the type of the entity that we have read. So we can do something like here, say percent HHD, it's actually just a chart. I'm going to print it as a, as a digit. And here we can say entity D underscore type. And this is going to be different based on the different types of, well, either if it's folder or for file, it's going to be different. So if I try to launch this, you're going to see that we get different numbers. 
Now these numbers don't really mean anything for us, but for the actual library it does. So four is a directory in our case, and eight is probably just a plain old file. And probably if we create something like a link, we're gonna get a, a another uh, another number. And in fact, I added here a soft link called main link. And uh, if we try to launch our program now, we should see a different uh, identifier here on the left. And in fact, we do. So 10 uh, means it's a soft link for this API and uh, we actually have a main link here. And now to check whether or not inside the code you actually have a folder or a file, all you have to do is say uh, if entity d underscore type equals d uh, either dt reg or dt lnk as we can see dt lnk is 10 so that's the 10 that we saw here uh, dt dir is of course 4 and there's also of course dt reg which is a file an interesting little concept would be to print all the files that are nested inside other directories inside the current directory that we are in how do we do that well if we move everything to a function, let's say list files, and I'm gonna give it here a, a const char pointer naming the actual directory. So I'm gonna say here dir name, and I'm gonna copy everything inside of here, change this dot so that we instead are using the dir name. So we're gonna use the dir name, whatever we pass here, and inside name, we're gonna pass in this list files. So we're gonna pass into this list files this dot. So right now it's gonna work the exact same way, except we now have a function. So if I try to launch this, of course, we're gonna get this exact same result. Uh, I do believe this shouldn't be a return one since it's a void function now. But other than that, it's exactly the same. We get still the numbers and the uh, names of each of each file and folder and whatnot. And now to check here if it's a directory, simply what we can do is after, for example, after we print it, we can say if entity uh, arrow d type is dt dir, so if it's a dir, then what we need to do is to construct a path, right? So if we are in uh, the current directory and we want to actually go to VS code, to dot VS code and actually print whatever is in there, what we'll have to do here is just pass in slash dot VS code, right? So if I do that, and let's say I didn't write this yet, um, and launch it, we're gonna see that we only have these three files and of course the dot and dot dot, right? And that is in indeed what I have inside that folder. So we're just gonna have to simulate that. And what we'll have to do is create here a path variable, let's say path, of let's say 100 characters, hopefully that's enough. And inside this path, I'm gonna initialize it with zero so that we don't have any issues with that. I'm gonna str cat, so I'm gonna concatenate first the dir name, so this dot that we had here, I'm just gonna say path and then dir name, so that's simple enough. Then I'm gonna add that slash that we should add. So to the path, we're gonna add the slash that we should add there. And after the slash, we should add the inner directory. The inner directory is what? Is our entity arrow D name. So that is what we have to add here, strcat of path entity arrow D name, just like that. And lastly, of course, we need to call list files recursively. And I'm gonna call it here with the new path that we have uh, calculated in here. All right. And now if we try to launch this with dot, we shall see that the program indeed breaks. And why does it break actually? Because that's quite uh, funny. Well, the, the issue would be very obvious if I were to print the actual uh, dear name that is being passed to this function. So I'm gonna say here, printf reading files in percent s backslash n let's say like that and i print out the dir name and uh well let's say we print it afterwards in here well if i try to launch this now you will notice that a lot of times we have a lot of dot slash dot slash dot slash uh everywhere and it means that we have recursively tried to iterate over our own directory. So because the current directory holds that dot, 
right, that we've seen that represents the current directory, we have iterated inside of it. So you went, okay, well, go from the current directory to the current directory, and it kept on going forever and ever. And that's no good, of course. And similarly would happen if we go back. So if you go with the uh, dot dot uh, directory, which represents the parent directory, uh, it might actually go back to the parent and then iterate back to our current directory and back to the parent and current directory and it would never end. So basically what we have to do is just skip over those two. So I'm going to say here, if that and our, let's say strcmp, so I'm going to compare entity name, so the name with, well, dot. So if it's dot, then I want you to skip it. So if it's dot, this has to be different than zero. So then that means that, okay, if it is the same, then this is going to be zero, right? And this is going to be false, and then it's not going to actually iterate over it. And similarly, exactly the same way, just with um, dot dot, I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing and just change this to a dot dot, and we skip over that as well. Now, if we try to launch this, we should see the proper result. As you can see here, we get uh, a ton of files, but the most important ones are in the .vs code. So reading files in .vs code, it sees indeed that we have launch.json, tasks.json, and settings.json, which is what we had, what we have expected there, right? And in fact, it would be much more clear if I pa if I paste in the full path. So I can say here percent %s slash percent %s, and then this is going to be the dear name. So I'm going to give it here as a second parameter our dear name, and the third parameter is still going to be the name of our file. So if I try to launch this now, we should see that uh, we have found a lot of dot slash that's in our current directory. And when we go to dot VS code, as you can see here, uh, we have launch.json, tasks.json, settings.json, and so on and so forth. And we can, of course, add other directories if we so desire. We can have here a, let's say, directory test and inside of it we can create another directory test2 and inside of test2 we can create a uh, i don't know test.txt right and uh, now if i try to launch our code again we should see that in fact we do see this test.txt uh, here so it does work properly and I suggest you actually play around with these a little bit because it's quite fun maybe try to iterate over all your uh, files and folders in a certain directory and uh, I don't know, try to make it look nice like the way the, the tree command inside command prompt does it because it is quite interesting and uh, it's a nice exercise. Maybe instead of this four and eight print uh, the actual values, the actual like meaning uh, of those numbers so that you know what they are exactly. But this was it for today. I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code can be found on our website, link in the description below. Take care. Bye.